Hey guys, this is Saiyan here, and welcome to my little review slash Battlefield 4 um, gameplay footage of uh, Shadow Play. Now I am using Shadow Play in this recording right here. Um, I wanted to uh, use Shadow Play footage to show you guys that I'm also um, I edit all my videos in Adobe Premiere, so I have figured out how to fix the the um, video audio sync problem that you get when you import a video from Shadow Play into Adobe Premiere and that's simply because because of the um, the the variable frame rate that Shadow Play uses to record uh, which is one of the cons of Shadow Play if you use Adobe Premiere you're gonna have some problems with it but I figured out how to how to fix that I'm not gonna sh tell you guys how to fix that in this video um, I already made a video for it uh, if you want to check it out I'll go ahead and leave a download or not a download link but a, a link to that video in the description check it out um, it should help you guys fix the problems with that but let's get down to the actual review of shadow play now before shadow play I was using pro um, programs and still am uh, at sometimes using fraps and DX Tory programs like that now the negatives about fraps and DX Tory like that is that they create humongous file sizes that's the biggest problem so unless you have your rock and multiple terabyte storages um, you're gonna be hurting on space because I've had videos that are 70 gigs for a 20 minute video um, which is ridiculous now the good thing about shadow play is that when you use it it records very very small um, file sizes um, this video right here all of it together is probably uh, this was a pretty long video. This video, I edited a lot out. It was about 40 minutes. This was a long round. This video um, right here was probably about 10 to 15 gigs. Uh, yeah, I'd say about 10 to 15 gigs. Um, if I was recording this with Fraps, it would probably be close to 100 gigs, which is ridiculous. Um, normally, I hardly even get over... Um, I hardly ever get over 10 gigs on my video size with Shadow Play, which is awesome. Um, I only have a 600 gig hard drive in there in my PC right now, so being able to decrease that is a huge plus. Now, Shadow Play is in beta right now. I will say that. So these problems um, that I have with Shadow Play, I fully expect for NVIDIA to fix them. Now, before we go any further, I should probably tell you if you guys have not heard um, how you get Shadow Play. Shadow Play is a um, a software that's free to NVIDIA users who have GTX 650 graphics cards or higher. So, if you don't use um, uh, an NVIDIA graphics card, you're not going to be able to get this program. If your graphics card is less than a GTX 650, um, you're not going to be able to get this software. Um, now I have heard that uh, that AMD it might be working on a software like this, which I hope they do for um, Nvidia or for AMD users because it would it helps a lot. I really really like Shadow Play. Um, there are problems with it. I'm sure if you guys haven't heard it already, because I'm probably gonna have the gameplay volume pretty low. Um, once I stop talking in a minute. I'm gonna show you what it sounds push like up, up. for the the mic volume. Now, when it's recording my microphone, it um, it has a uh, it hits maximum very easily. When I raise my voice at all, it hits um, it hits the maximum, so it makes a very annoying, aggravating sound. You're trust me. Once you hear it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's very annoying. Now they just recently updated Shadow Play to even let you be able to record your own microphone. Um, when I'm speaking with Rax and his microphone doesn't do it, it's just because Shadow Play is recording my my microphone, and I expect it to be a fix rather soon. Um, it's not a huge issue. Uh, you might say, well, why don't you just turn down your microphone? Uh, my microphone volume is already quite low. And so, 
I don't want to turn it down any lower to where when I am have in-game footage, uh, Raxon can't hear me or you guys can't hear me because everything else is so loud. Uh, which is which is a problem at the moment. Um, like I said, I think that they will be fixing this. Uh, I don't see why they wouldn't. Uh, again, overall, I'd have to say that Shadowplay is a great software. I've had a shit ton of problems with Raps. Uh, from just recording fine and dandy and all of a sudden my fucking frames drop all the way down to, uh, to legitimately one frame per second. Which is just horrible, just completely fucks up your game. And it's not because my hard drive is full, it's just because Fraps is a CPU hog. And so all that shit starts working together. And I have a pretty good PC. Um, my CPU is pretty nice. It's not that I have a shitty CPU, it's just Fraps. Um, and I'm sure it does it with other programs like DXTory as well. I have never had a single problem with that with Shadowplay. This. It's amazing, and um, the big thing about it, especially if you're in, um, if you're playing more competitive video games and you're trying to record it, such as Battlefield, Call of Duty, any FPS is really where you need to have as much frames as possible. Uh, the big thing about Shadowplay that, in my opinion, is just brings it way above any other program for recording, is that it takes very, very, very little off of your frame rates especially when you compare it to um, programs like Fraps. Um, I know I'm talking a lot about pretty much Shadowplay versus Fraps and it's because Fraps is the other program that I've used most. And um, I have literally gone from games where I'm getting 90 to 100 frames in Battlefield 3. Uh, once I hit that record button, my frames drop all the way down to 50 to 60. And that's just where they stay. That's not um, including the times where it just actually fucks yeah, up my um, my video game and brings it all the way down to one to where I have no choice I just can't record it'll just get fucked up now that is obviously a huge plus for shadow play um, but another big feature that shadow play has is something that they call um, shadow recording as in the name shadow play um, shadow mode is what they call it um, now what this does if you enable shadow mode it's you do not have to have this so if you're limited on space you do not have to have this um, on all the time but depending on um, how you can actually adjust the time slider but you can adjust it from all the way from one minute to 20 minutes in Dude, the past it will keep a small up. portion 20 minutes in the past of your gaming recorded all the time um, after that time frame is gone it'll delete it it'll be gone so it's not like a whole shit ton of videos are storing up in your hard drive after that 20 minutes if you have not clicked to save that recording then it will just delete it now this is a huge thing for um, especially if you're playing I know this happens all the time to me in Battlefield or even just any funny moments when I'm playing a let's play um, of like say Batman if I'm recording that or if I'm going through doing something without actually recording um, and let's say something funny happens or some awesome scene I shoot an RPG I fucking blow up a helicopter it comes down and lands on two other enemies and it kills them but guess what I wasn't recording if you're using fraps that footage is gone it's lost you can't use it unless you were recording at that time with shadow play if you have shadow mode enabled you can actually automatically just alt F10 and quick save the last 20 minutes of gameplay or whatever you set it to and then bam you'll have that footage you'll have that funny moment or you'll have that badass kill streak that you did um, it's a huge plus and so most of the times when I'm playing um, like matches like this I don't even actually set it to record I was just like alright that was a pretty good match I had uh, some nice um, cooperation with Raxon and my little squad going it was good which you you're not going to hear any of that because I have the audio turned way down for it but oh you know what I think I should save that so alt f10 wasn't even recording but you know because I'm using shadow play it works so before I go ahead and end this um, let's go ahead and go over the pros and cons that I think of shadow play right now obviously pros um, the file size is amazing to be able to record um, up to 20 minutes in the past without actually on setting on it on to end. record um, all you have to do is have shadow play on which it actually turns on automatically if you have the um, 
NVIDIA GeForce Experience, I think is what it's called. So, um, so bam, you don't even have to worry about turning it on. And three is the the toll that it takes on your computer while you're recording. If you're playing games like Minecraft, it's not going to be that big of a deal, but if you're playing competitive FPSs, um, whether you're um, uh, literally playing competitive matches and you're recording it just to put on YouTube or you're just fucking around in a public match with your friends, for it not to take a huge toll on your CPU and drag your frame rates down just when you turn it on, like Fraps and DX Tori, that is an enormous plus. Now, I'm not going to act like there's nothing wrong with Shadowplay. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the, um, the flaws of Shadowplay. There's two big ones that come in mind. One is it uses a um, it uses a variable frame rate. Now, oh if it <coughs> really it's not that big of a deal um, unless you're using Adobe Premiere. If you're using Adobe Premiere, once you stick it into Adobe Premiere, the audio and video files get unsynced because the sound tabs aren't linked to the video tabs. Now, there is a very, very easy nice. solution to that. Like I said earlier, I've already solved it. All you got to do is put it in handbrake, change it to constant frame rate, and boom, you are done. Um, like I said, I have the, um, the video link to that in the description. It's a little bit more in-depth tutorial on it, um, but easily fixed. So, the second big thing that is um, actually the main thing that is annoying me at yeah, the moment is the microphone. My microphone having this weird, annoying, loud, overbearing, just <laughs> sound because it's getting overloaded. Um, I do not know the cause of this. It could be that my microphone is too high. Um, I don't think so. My microphone is very low. I should actually, I'm going to test that. I'm going to bring my microphone down a lot um, and we'll see how that how that works. I'll just have to bring Battlefield sound effects down. Um, but again, even if this is just a problem with shadow play, um, it is in beta and they just uh, at the time of this video last week, they just released the patch to where they you're able to record your own microphone. So I have no doubt that they are going to fix this. Everything is going to be fine. Um, actually, you know what? To prove that it is shadow play, that um, it is wrong, I'm using the exact same microphone volume that I was using with shadow play recording, but it fucks up in shadow play and it hasn't fucked up once now. Well, it might have, who knows? Um, once I watch it back, I might think I'm an idiot. But now I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch some of the gameplay with the volume turned up. And I promise you, you will hear the um, the overwhelming sound of my mic just overloading. Uh, it's aggravating, but I hope this um, review has helped you guys. I really do think that Shadowplay is an excellent program and um, uh, that it's only going to be getting better as it lives its life cycle, as to say, gets out of beta and into the real game. Alright guys, this is Saiyan signing out for Saiyan and Raxon. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to more videos like this one. Be sure to check us out in the next one, and I'll see you there. There's like 10 to 4 people over here and I have the only health pack down. It's ridiculous. My bad, bro. Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs>
Shot by a new bit glitching. Get in that room. My KD is just going down here. Got a ton of medals. We got a shit ton 49 of ribbons. They're ribbons. still counting. Yeah, it's a mint. 75 ribbons. That is going on YouTube.